All right, here we're going to look at a technique of differentiation called logarithmic differentiation. All right, and it has three simple steps. The first is to take the natural log of both sides. So take the natural log of both sides. And then you're going to take the derivative implicitly of both sides, of both sides, and then solve for y prime or dy dx. All right, and in order to do that, we're going to make sure we remember a few of our log properties. And this is the power property that comes in when doing logarithmic differentiation. So the log base A of X raised to a power is equal to that power times the log base A of X. So I can bring that power down in front. All right. Also remember the derivative of the natural log of X is 1 over X. And ln of E is 1. ln of 1 is 0. And this one I always like to remember. What if I'm taking the derivative of the natural log of some function of x, so not just x itself? Well, remember, it's the nat it's 1 over that it out inside function times the derivative of that inside function, 1 over u du. OK, let's look at some examples um, that utilizes this technique. OK. Let's look at this very basic example, but one that should automatically make you think of logarithmic differentiation. So here we have y equals x to the x. Now this is very different than when we had y equal, I'm sorry, yeah, y equals x squared where 2 is a constant, okay? When we had y equals x squared or any constant, then we, ha we applied the power rule. This is not a constant, it's changing, so the power rule will not apply here. Okay? So we're going to do, we're going to apply the technique of logarithmic differentiation. And remember what step one was. It was to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of y equals the natural log of x to the x. Now, just to be sure, I want to find the derivative of y with respect to x. That's what I'm ultimately looking for. All right, so step one, I've taken the log of both sides. Step two, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, which means when I come across a y, I'm going to have to do implicit differentiation. So the, natu the derivative of the natural log of y is 1 over y times the derivative of y with respect to x. Remember, y, I can't solve for it in terms of x, so it's some function of x. Equals, uh, whoop, I forgot to do one thing. Remember, if I have the natural log of x to a power, that means I can move my power down in front. So x times ln of x. All right, so now that I'm ready to take the derivative of the right, I'm going to have to do the product rule. So it's going to be 1 times ln of x plus x times 1 over x. This simplifies to ln of x plus 1. All right, so now remember what I was looking for was dy dx, so I'm going to solve for dy dx now, because that's step three. dy dx, or y prime, is equal to ln of x plus 1, this whole quantity, times y. If I multiply both sides by y. Now, if I can, I like to put my answer in terms of x. And since I have y in terms of x, I can go one step further and write this as the natural log of x plus 1 times x to the x. And so that's the, my final answer to this problem. All right, let's look at another example. What if I have this? y equals um, x to the cosine of x. Okay. Again, I have x raised to a function of x, so it's not a constant, so the power rule doesn't apply. So this is a great example to use logarithmic differentiation. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. ln of y equals the ln of x to the cosine of x, which I'm going to take this power and bring it down. So this equals the cosine of x times 
the ln of x. All right, that was step one. Step two is to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, and we're going to do that implicitly on the left. So it's 1 over y times dy dx equals, now we apply the product rule, minus sine x ln of x plus cosine of x over x. So I now need to solve for dy dx. That's my ultimate goal. That's equal to y times minus sine of x ln of x plus cosine of x over x. And the last step, if I can, I'm going to replace that y in terms of x. So my final answer for dy dx is x to the cosine of x times minus sine x ln of x plus cosine of x over x. Now go practice.